Hello folks, welcome back to the channel Rise with Richie. I hope you are safe and well today. My name is Richard De Souza and I make content about motorcycles, motorcycle travel, accessories and maintenance. This is my beautiful Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. I bought this bike three days back. Right now I'm going to do the first mod on this bike. Oh, actually the second mod. The first mod what I did on this bike was installing these lovely grip puppies over here to reduce those vibrations and to give me a better grip on the handlebars. And right now I'm going to do the second modification on this motorcycle. So I'm going to install these 30 mm risers on the handlebars. They are made by Tech Bike Parts and uh, they come with these longer bolts as well. So in case if you are looking for this modification, stick around and stay tuned and I will show you exactly how it is done. This is the standard handlebar and uh, as you can see, the rise, there is not much rise. I will sit on the motorbike and I'll show you as well how it looks. So I will quickly sit on the bike and I will show you how I look on the bike. So as you can see, my hands are fully stretched out. I'm not particularly sitting in the front or in the back. I'm just sitting right in the middle over here. This is exactly how I would like to ride this bike. With these handlebar risers, it will give me a little bit of a lift on the handlebar and a little bit of a drag at the back as well. I was looking at the different handlebar riser options as well. I was looking at the Moton Customs one and that was pretty expensive. That is approximately around 149 pounds. And uh, by the time you import it over here to Ireland and pay the VAT and everything, you're spending more than 200 euros. I did not feel like I have to spend so much of money just for the risers. I might order the risers from India in the future. We'll see how that goes. But these risers from Tech Bike Parts, they cost me around 24 pounds. So that is around 30 euros or 35 euros when they were imported to Ireland with the VAT paid and everything. So let me quickly walk you through how I'm going to install this. So we have to take out these two bolts over here in the bottom one on the right and one on the left hand side that they are uh, with the 14 mm socket and then this clamp on will be loosened. Once you take these bolts out, put the risers over here in this area and put the longer bolts and then install them. Make sure that the risers are sitting on top of these uh, metal washers which are over here and same on the other side as well. So without further delay, Let's get this done. So first thing first, I'm going to cover this beautiful tank so that I don't scratch it. And uh, let me take out my tools and start working on it. Let's see if I can crack this open. That was quite tight as expected. That's the first bolt come out there. Same on the next side as well. Just holding the handlebar so that it doesn't fall. That was a bit of a struggle there. There you go. Finally, the handlebar has come off loose. I leave it there. It's not going to fall. It is held by the cables. Put this bolt away. So the new bolts are not 14 mm. They are 17 mm. So I'm going to change the socket right there so that I'm ready for the next process. What I'm going to do is I'll turn the handlebar towards here so that you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to space these spacers over here and guide the bolt into it and then I have to put the lock tight. So gonna be some trick but it should work. So I have the lock tight. I'm going to apply it on the bolt. Yep, that's it. It was a bit of a struggle to put that in place. It's in place now. Let me do the other one. That's it. That's in place. I'm going to tighten it now. I'm going to torque it. I checked the factory manual. I'm going to torque it to 25 foot pounds. That's it. This one is done. And on the other side now. That's 
that's it this is talked up to specification so folks that's all done there so let me sit on the bike and show you how does it look so as you can see i've got a bit of a rise that's 30 mm rise it's not much but it makes that much of a difference to get that ergonomic position right and uh, especially i believe when i'm standing up it gives me that better leverage and uh, yeah i've tilted the handlebar a little bit forward as well so that it gives me that extra stance i just did the mirrors and everything and this looks brilliant i like it in case if you have liked this video please do not forget to hit the like button and uh, to leave me a comment in case if you want to know anything more and to subscribe to this channel for more awesome content like this thank you very much stay safe on the road and i will see you in the next one good luck bye bye